we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toe the Line with me, George Glinsky. Delighted today to be joined by Mr. Dorian Darch. Dorian, how are we doing? Good, buddy. How are you? What's amazing? Really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Really good. It's a, it's a wonderful time to be in Wales, of course. Kadena versus Agawa today. We're getting this. Yeah, just, big show in Wales tonight. Yeah, just done before that. So before we actually go into Bernacle Boxing it sense, itself, can we talk about Agawa and Kadena? What we're thinking is, is Kadena going to become the 13th Welsh world champion tonight? Hopefully, but for that, Agawa or whatever you pronounce his name, is no fucking mug, you know what I mean? He's a big, tough guy, like he's a big ask. George just got to box him, I think. But then again, Naragawa's just not a bang. I mean, I've had a quick look at him. He's a good boxer as well. Like, so it was a, a very tough task for Joe tonight. Definitely. But he hope he pulls it off. Agreed. Agreed. For, for yeah. sure. Um, so massive fight coming up. British Cruiserweight title fight. Yeah. Barrett. You're really down at your your natural weight. You've always said that that sort of Cruiserweight division yeah. is the place you... That was, that was the only reason I initially came over to BKB. It was for the 16 stone division. You know what I mean, when I had that fight with Mason, and I think I weighed in 16-2 with my fucking clothes on, you know what I mean? But then I bloated up then because no one, I didn't have, there was no one there to fight. No, no one wanted to fight me at 16 stone. So the other fight came about and I took it and we, you, we are today back down to 16 stone now. I weighed in 16 stone this morning. So I'm on weight the week out. Obviously I might put two or three pound back on now, but I know I can make it next Saturday. What do you expect in fighting Mr. Ryan Barrett? Obviously he's, He's a good boxer. He's got a decent amateur pedigree. He hasn't had the, the professional credentials you have, but nevertheless, it's a it's a good challenge for you. Yeah, very good challenge. But it's a 50-50 fight, if I'm honest, George. Mm. I'm not big headed or fucking think I'm something better than what I am. But I've watched Ryan Barrett's videos. He's technically very good on the pads. I think I'm going to have an advantage size wise on the day. But I am going to fucking box this time. I can box as well. People think, oh, Dorian Dash, the fucking windmiller. But I, I got a fucking good job. I can box and I'm going to box this time. Is, is that the is that what we can expect from you then? Because obviously you, you've got that yeah. size advantage. So you would say in your heads that this would be about your strength and size, but really you're going in yeah. the box. Yeah, but box on the front foot, not fucking windmill on the front foot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Definitely. There's yeah. a big difference. <laughs> My first two fights, all I've done is just fucking, I've had a street fight in the ring as well. And obviously, I was doing, I thought I was winning the Meikle fight, but I, I I couldn't have lost to a better man in Meikle, but they got cut and rules are rules and I lost the fucking fight because mm. of my recklessness and my fucking, the fact that I don't give a fuck about getting punched in the face. Pretty caught up for me. I know we, we, we sort of make a, a bit of a big deal about cuts and, and so on and so forth. And it's been kind of the narrative coming out of that fight, but did it feel like a loss, obviously losing in the way that you did? I never take nothing away from Mikkel, but he's a fucking lovely gent of a fucking bloke. And he, it, the rules are, if you lose by a fucking cut caused by a punch, you lose the fight. So I lost the fight. It was hard to fucking swallow. And I've watched the fight back and two or three times, and it is still hard to swallow. But the rules are the rules. And he's cut, stopped by a cut. He, and he got off the couch a week and a half before the fucking fight. And he stopped me on a cut. So fair play to the man. Mm -hmm. And the rematch was, I believe, verbally agreed in the ring, or there was there was something. Yeah, there. it was verbally. And things are said spur of the moment. Then I was pissed off with Joe and Jim, if I'm honest, because they, they said in front of several people that we'll do the rematch, and they didn't. But I bit my tongue, and I just got on with it. They've delivered another fight at the weight I'm more confident at. And, well, I'm happy. Mm. But is that ultimately what you want next? Because you, you, you win the British title here. There's there's the potential yeah. of fighting for a world, so that could either be a heavyweight or cruiser. Yeah. So are you looking more yeah. towards heavyweight for that for that rematch? Uh, I I to be honest with George, right? I'll be I, and I spoke to Mikkel. I've got no interest in fighting Mikkel again. Jody Mikkel, he's my friend. I know if I had to, if Jim and Joe said to me, Dorian, you either fight Jody Mikkel or you don't fight no one. I'd fight Jody Meikle, but I've got no interest in fighting Jody Meikle. He's a gentleman of a bloke. He stepped in last minute to fight me. He beat me on cuts, and that was the end of it. But I, I, I as a, I've got nothing against Jody Meikle. I couldn't have been beat by a better man. But if I'm, if I have to fight him, I will. But I've got no interest in that fight. So maybe a cruiserweight world title against well, cruiserweight title. Back, of course. Or, maybe or if the other person wins the fight, I've got interest in fighting him. That would that would be that would be of interest. Yeah, even even if that other person even if that other person loses the fight, I will still fight them. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So so then I guess that you'll be going back to heavyweight after this fight. Is 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 that the idea? 
Yeah, well, like I, I'll see how it goes, but I got to win this fight first. Like you said, the, the person in front of me, Ryan Barrett. If Ryan Barrett meets me, I might, I might not fight again. You know what I mean? So I'm focused on Ryan Barrett, and I give him that respect. I'm not going to talk if, in in front of Ryan Barrett because I've got to beat him first. And I realize it's a fucking tough fight, fifty fifty fight. Mm-hmm. When we were we were talking on that that conference call, um, I believe it was the conference call with Podmore. We spoke about you. You well, you said that you you would be retiring if you lost your next fight. So, yeah. what was it that made you want to fight yeah. again after after the loss that you sustained? Without saying, I I I didn't lose the fight because I, I wasn't having an eye in. You know what I mean? I weren't fucking battered. I, at the time, the fight was stopped from cuts, which is rightly so. That's the fucking rules. I was comfortably winning the fight. In my eyes, if I'd have been handily beaten, I would have I would have knocked it on the head. What did you? Or if he beats me, if he beats me, the aforementioned person, I knock it on the head. Definitely, definitely. What, what did you learn from that fight? What was the big the big takeaway from the the Mikko fight? Obviously. I just can't knock people over, but like a Mikko, right? I'm not being funny. I hit him. I've watched it back. Like I said, I hit him with three or four fucking right hands, and the man was fucking. He just soaked them up. You know what I mean? That that would knock most men out, or at least uh, make it so they couldn't go on no more or drop them. But he just hit them up. He's just so tough of a bloke. Like, and I knew that going in there, but the frustration I think of the fight cancellation and everything. And I thought. And it just got to me. I should have just boxed, but I didn't. But this time, I'm going to box on the front foot. Definitely, definitely. So down now, as we say, at your natural weight, fighting for that that British cruiserweight title. What's yeah. preparations been like? Where are you preparing, and and what are you doing for this fight? Um, like I said, I I haven't got a trainer as such. I go down to Gavin Reese's mm-hmm. twice a week. He's my PT. So I go down there. No, twice. It's been three times a week now. Leading up, I pay him for PTs. So. That, that's all I can say. I've had some sparring today with fucking Sunny Lee, pro boxer, traveller, fucking sharp as a four by two, fucking battered me again, but it's all working. Very that, good. That man Lee's brother? Yeah, waste of a talent, but if he doesn't box again, he's walking around. I think he first went to Gavin, he was 110 kilos. He's down to 90 kilos now, and he's scheduled to fight in two weeks. So I hope it happens. Wow. Wow. Mm. So, yeah, we're, we're expecting. A war, that's that's the expecting expectation coming into this fight against Ryan Barrett. So yeah. before we go into, you know, people we've got to thank on so on and so forth, for yeah. people that might be, you know, tuning into this fight, um, tuning into this interview and considering buying the pay-per-view itself, yeah, why should people tune into this fight and, and the card in general? Blood and guts, but isn't it? BKB is, is what it is. I've been up to watch one show personally myself and it's a cracking show to watch live. I always buy it on Fight TV after I even come home to re-watch the old show and it's just a fucking cracking sport to watch in all fairness. Mm, and it will be blood and guts. As you can see, my fucking tracing paper skin. I just all hope it all goes out this time. <laughs> Is there any um, worry with the cut? Obviously, you've spoken about it quite a lot. I'm not worried about it, but I mean, it's healed up nice. If you No, know, if someone put a piece of paper in front of me and said, Dorian, sign this, and if you get cuts, we won't stop the fight, I'd fucking sign it in a second. Superficial cuts not going to hurt me, but I'm an ugly cunt anyway, you know what I mean? So another scar is not going to fucking bother me. Like, But I understand his fucking doctors and all that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm not going to die from a cut on my face. Like, no, definitely. That's definitely. my opinion. Mm. Um, so finally, yeah. people you've got to thank, obviously you've got a, a fair few people backing you. Yeah. Like I said, I've to be honest with you, but I've struggled a bit with tickets this time and managed to get 50 out because... With the Podmore fight falling through, and uh, not everyone paid for me in Podmore. I know Joe and Jim say, "Oh, you paid to watch you fight," but with the bad blood and that, everyone paid to watch me be in Podmore. The boys who called the bus out left it left Aberdeen at twelve o'clock and didn't get in till six o'clock in the morning, so they want they wanted a fucking refund when the Podmore fight was cancelled. But I asked for that, and it was and they were, weren't allowed. So people are obviously pissed off, and I mean, I I haven't argued with people, but it's made things awkward for me. You know what I mean? With my friends, like, but I still managed to do fifty tickets. So everyone's a winner, and hopefully get through this fight now, and we go again. Definitely, definitely. Restore everyone's confidence, and then we go again. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. So for anyone that wants to tune into this fight, it'll be on Fight TV. Tickets are kind of still available. I don't know if you have any, Dorian, but people can certainly. No, mine. I only had fifty. They're gone, mine now. 
There you go. So for anyone yeah. that wants to buy tickets that are, that will be still available, there's a couple online at axs.com. You'll find the general codes for each fighter. They should be available on the on the BKB platforms. But yeah, Dorian, thank you so much for this interview. No problem. Like I said, I'd like to thank Matthew Mole again, main sponsor. There we go. Without them, man, they wouldn't be possible. He helps me out to no, 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 no fucking measure. So fair play to him. Perfect. Hi, right, buddy. Perfect. Enjoy the boxing tonight. Thank you, mate. You too. Right. Right, Robert. Robert.